You know, everyone says that retail therapy is something for, you know, women. But let's be honest, guys. You know, whether it's going out and getting something for this or from these guys, getting something like this, we will still need to go out and get it, right? Certain things we could get online, but if it's clothing or stuff that you want to see fits your equipment, you still need to go down to the shop. And what better way to do it is writing and retail therapy. Right. Hello everyone, I'm Fletch and today I decided to take a nice leisurely ride. Not only just to ride, but believe it or not, not just women, but guys also have retail therapy. Oops, I'm here on my bike on a little quick ride uh, that I decided to do. Weather is excellent and uh, I'm off to do a little bit of uh, retail therapy. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, um, we all say that, you know, women, when they're stressed, uh, in fact, they say in Hollywood movies and stuff, that the best form of stress relief is retail therapy. But guys, come on, let's be honest. We do the same as well. Although, for us, it's, uh, it's more about, you know, knowing what we want to get and just go and get it, right? But in my case, it's, it's ride and retail therapy as well. So, what I'm doing now is heading off to a place uh, in Singapore called Little India, so you get a chance to see a little bit about that place, uh, number one. Number two, I'm taking you to this little motorbike shop that, that uh, I like to go to, that uh, has all the apparel and stuff, and take a look and see. Uh, you know, if there's something that I want to get, right? The little window shopping, although I know, I know what I want. And I know what I want to get. Right, so we're here at the top of a place called Sarangan Road, as you can see there. And from the decorations that you can see, this is Little India. Now, if you can see that little words below, it says Happy Dipavali. That's the festival of lights, the Hindu festival of lights, which they just celebrated, I think, uh, a week ago, two weeks ago, uh, from, take, from making this video. And it was, uh, and with every festival here in Singapore, they always light it up. So there's a big shopping center here as well, not very big, there's a minor shopping center. But uh, they'll light it up for the people and have festivities as best as they can in this situation, right? Uh, in this day and age, it's going to be a little bit tough and, and so forth. So Little India, for obvious reasons, why it's called Little India is because uh, this is the the place where you could find everything Indian, whether it's food, whether it's uh, clothes uh, and, and stuff that you need. And strangely enough, the, the, the road on the opposite side is where all the motorcycle shops are, which is interesting. Uh, probably, they've been there for a long time anyway, so you know, at the end of the day, it's not about something special. So, wow, take a look at that. And that's all the decorations they had for the Festival of Lights, or Dipavali, as they called it. Uh, and today being Sunday, it's obviously going to be super crowded. And I have to take care of pedestrians. And surprisingly enough, you know, uh, well, I had the heartbreak. Not a very good idea. Let's see if I can lane split. Oh. 
And surprisingly enough, look at this, the amount of people here and you think that COVID didn't exist. But you know, Singapore is really very strict. So if these guys uh, screw up in any way, they're going to be fined, they're going to be whatever, you know. So they still have to take care. Everybody has to be masked uh, and so forth. So I have to be careful because obviously, yeah, nobody seems to give a rat's ass about parking here. The double yellow line there is that they're not supposed to park there. But, you know, people being people. And there's no cops around, they just take their, take advantage of it. There's a little big moss there. I have to be careful of uh, this delivery guy. One of the famous shopping centers here is Mustafa, as you can see here in Little India. And I have to be really careful of people who don't know how to cross the roads here. But as you can see, loads of uh, shopping centers and stuff that you would need. I haven't been here for a long time, let me tell you. A couple of times when the weather's pretty bad, if I needed to go to that particular shop, uh, I would take a grab or a lift or what have you. Uh, here in Singapore, it's just a grab. You don't have lift. Uh, Uber doesn't exist anymore. So I'll take one of those rides to get there. But today, beautiful day, even though the forecast was saying that, you know, at this time it's supposed to be raining. But, you know, you're on a motorcycle and it's not a long way off. Uh, and it's a Sunday, if you get wet, you get wet, right? So, doesn't matter. I'm almost there, it's just around the corner, maybe another two, three minutes. And I'm at the shop. And let's see what I can see, and let's see what I can get. And... That will be the end of my retail therapy. I know they're having a Black Friday sale. Uh, so, chances are that it's going to be crowded and today being a Sunday Saturday oh. okay I cuss sorry trying not to and the place I'm going to is just right in front and it's called Regina Specialities so I'm going to go there and park in front and see what I can see and hopefully, you know, um, I could get what I want to get. Hopefully. Just push forward and I'm here so I'm telling you what guys I am going to park it and we'll chat later yeah see you in a bit right so now I'm here on the bike and retail therapy is over and guess what I got myself this helmet this is the Shark s -Rec, um helmet with the uh, mask and mouthpiece and so forth. Uh, one of the reasons why I got it is because I wanted something a bit light. Uh, because doing using the food all the time was a bit tough. I wanted something a little bit different. And probably something that uh, makes me look like the Anomalous Biker USA. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, something different. Uh, 
I didn't put the front facing uh, camera on because I didn't want to mess with it. So I had the, the one mounted on my handlebars and my microphone is sticking inside my mask inside this helmet so that hopefully I can cut some of the wind as well. And yeah, so that's uh, retail therapy. So, you know, at the end of the day, is, uh, it was fun to be able to ride uh, and the weather was good. It's not, so remember, it's not only just the women, guys, you gotta admit that you too want some retail therapy as well. Uh, hopefully the uh, audio isn't too bad on this. Uh, I'm not ride, riding really fast anyway. But, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully uh, it's much better and it's not too loud uh, because the microphone is like really close to my mouth and this dude is turning right. No. So that was a little bit of a tour of uh, Little India and telling you all a little bit about the sites. Uh, this is pretty uh, pretty much the older part of Singapore and uh, you can, well, you can't see it because I don't have a front facing camera. On the left hand side as we pass uh, is one of the older shopping centers. It's been around since I think the 80s, right? And, and it's famous for all the IT gadgets and, and, and everything else. Retail therapy, right? I, I think we all need it once in a while. For me, it was just an excuse to go out and ride on this great day. It's cloudy now. It was pretty good earlier, as you saw. Um, and yeah, and I like this helmet. This helmet is super light. The full face that I was using, oh my god, that was uh, real pain. Uh, to ride short distances and all that. Even though it's modular, I could flip up. But this is so much better. It's lighter. Um, okay, most importantly, this is not safe, right? This is not a full face. This is detachable. Uh, it's it's a cheek water helmet, so, you know, it does protect you, but it doesn't protect the jaw if you fall, right? Because this is just plastic. But, uh, you know, ride safe when you're riding with this and I'm only covering maybe 20, 30 miles every day, you know, uh, it isn't very much, so I'm not worried, at least this keeps the rain and the, and the crap off my face, rather than a full face helmet with a, a shield, right? The, this visor is lightly tinted, it's not a real pain to, to see, Hope the good test will be uh, on a cloudy or rainy day, which is cloudy now, on a rainy day or at night, I wonder how it fares. Uh, I chose this particular, this particular color because um, it has some white on it so that at night I can be seen from the amount of wind noise I'm sure that I can hear that obviously you know motor vlogging in this particular helmet will be a challenge I would have to think about how else I could uh, do this maybe the mask might be helping I don't know I will only know when I edit this right so uh, mini review of the helmet, the Sharp s Drag uh, 2020, this is the Carbon 2. So being carbon, it's, uh, it means that it's lighter. But of course it affords more protection because it's carbon. Uh, and of course being carbon means that it's light. Uh, so this is the new model for 2020. And this is the, the new colors, as you can see, white and red. Uh, you know, white, red, interesting. Really super light, really super comfortable. <laughs> Was very aggressive looking, which helps a lot. Yeah. Uh, initially, when I saw the reviews on Rizella and 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 on YouTube before deciding on this particular helmet, that the uh, the chin strap was uh, a quick release, which I wasn't really too happy about. You know, because you've already sacrificed some form of safety because it's not a full face helmet yeah yeah you're not if you fall it, it's still there's some safety but you know it doesn't protect your jaw but at least it won't fall off right so this comes with a d-ring awesome i think that's uh, a, a real good plus sign the downside is that when i was looking at it i realized that uh trying to fit 
uh, the communicator on this so that I can listen to some music and, and, and talk to people and stuff may be a challenge. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look later on when I go home and see how else, how I can fit this. Uh, I have a 30k uh, center which I would like to put on this and see how it goes, right? So pretty light, lightweight, good full coverage, uh, plus minus there is some protection. It's pretty tight, uh, although there is, of course, a, being an open face means that there's a lot of wind. I don't know how uh, the wind would be like uh, when I'm moving at speeds. So we'll see in, in just a bit when uh, the traffic lights turn green. We just came from uh, Little India, as you saw when, when, I, when I turned off. That's a, a shop that's been around since also the 80s. Uh, the guy's been in business and pretty good. Uh, what I found very funny was that uh, they have an online shop now being uh, in 2020. That, you know, um, which should be, you know, I mean, you're supposed to have an online shop. But the prices, Jesus, this was going for retail price on uh, their website was like 500 but I got it for 300 uh, Singapore dollars not USD uh, and I'm not sure I, I think maybe it's what 160 170 dollars uh, US which is pretty good right Shark's a pretty good helmet uh, it's DOT and ECC rated uh, dual shell and so forth I'm wearing a large uh, really very comfortable and I can hear a lot of wind. I don't know if my mask is cutting some of it, but I mean the front mask plus uh, uh, the other mask that I'm wearing. Anyway, so that's uh, that's my retail therapy. Remember, guys, uh, don't kid yourself. You two love uh, some retail therapy, and of course, uh, co combining it with a yard is awesome. And if you do like this uh, video, please uh, hit a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell to let you know of my next video that I'm putting out. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Fletch and you guys have a safe ride.